Hello Virgos, how are you? It is B, and welcome to Psychic Sounds by B. We are here to go over your March of 2024 reading. Thank you so much for the likes, the shares, and the subscribes. Really appreciate it. For those of you that have not subscribed, please make sure you uh, click on that subscribe button and activate that bell so you'll be immediately notified when I post my videos. If you are so interested, also, I do have links below where you can get a reading with me, get a membership to my website. If you get a membership to my website, you are going to have access to every single sign of the Zodiac, a completely additional tarot reading, along with all of the extended astrology, all of the additional weeklies for one low monthly fee. You can cancel anytime you like. But yes, you can go to my website. You can uh, book a reading with me. Uh, you can also go to the link below and donate to my channel if you feel so inclined. You know what I find interesting? Right now, my baby girl, Brandon, she's right beside me and she's guarding me. You can cut, you see her ear? <laughs> you see her ear right there? What are you doing, pretty girl? You want to come up and say hi to Virgos? <gasps> there she is. Say hello, Virgos. Hi, Virgos. How are you? Sending you puppy love. Sending you puppy love. Oh, and we've got joined here by Ezra. You you never say hi to Virgos. You never say hi to Virgos. Yes. Okay, Virgos, for some of you, uh, you could be guarding uh, the loyalty that you have with a friend. You could be... Uh, defending them. They could be defending you. And I must say, Virgos, I have so many Virgo friends. Maybe it's because I'm a Gemini rising and we share the Mercury as our ruler, but we talk, 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 talk all the time. And so my best friend, he and I share a birth name. And so we call each other twins. Now, if you were to see us side by side, but you are so not twins. Okay, he's my brother from another mother, all right? So uh, anyway, Virgos, I just love you guys. Um, you really do balance out the Pisces energy really, really well. And you know, Virgos, uh, sometimes we can enlighten you guys as well. Okay, let's get into March of 2024 for my beautiful Virgos. What have we got? Virgos, your full moon is coming up, so something is culminating, ending, or needing to be addressed as it relates to your identity. You could be graduating. You could be getting a new job. You could be um, getting rid of some layer or some sort of identity from your past and creating a new identity for the future. Love this for you, Virgos. This is a great full moon. Please make sure you listen to the full moon reading in Virgo that I will be posting here shortly. Okay. Virgos, let's go ahead and pray over the deck. Okay, Virgos, what types of energies are Virgos bringing towards them for the month of March of 2024? What are you accepting of? What are you exhibiting? What are you allowing? in your environment, in your sphere? What are you attracting towards you? All right, general energies, home life, family life, love life, romantic life, and work life and social life. What is your overarching energy, Virgos? What is your overarching energy for love? I'm using my Gypsy Oracle Love deck. 
or gypsy love deck as I so lovingly call it. Oh, you got two cards, Virgos. We're keeping them. We're keeping them. It, this sometimes happens. Sometimes there are uh, dual cards that come out. So some of you are dealing with some sort of duality in love or you're trying to uh, bring together uh, opposites or you're trying to bring together some sort of common ground, I'm hearing. Here is your overall guidance. And the big change with my monthly readings, I'm going to be clarifying every single major arcana card here for the major themes for your life. So what is the clarifier for general energies? There it is. What is your clarifier for home life and love life? Whoa. Here it is. It popped out. It, it, it popped over. I'm just going to show it to you. The full. That's an awesome energy. Oh my gosh. And then we're going to look at romance and love. And we are going to look at your work life and your social life. Virgos. Now I want to remind the Virgos. I want to remind everybody. And I probably should have started saying this with all of the other signs that I have already recorded. But, you know, there's good and bad in every single sign. It's just how one wants to express their energies, what they choose. Do they choose the positive? Do they choose the negative? Are they mean? Are they loving? Are they kind? Are they, you know, selfish? All of those things, okay? A lot of times people look at signs of the zodiac as good or bad you know those scorpios are always bad those virgos are always bad i don't trust any virgos well if that's the energy you're putting out there that's what you are going to get back but my readings are based on the positive loving kind knowledgeable willing to you know own consequences, willing to have accountability in their actions, those types of signs. This is who I'm talking to. Okay. So if you're, if, if somehow Virgo, you're looking, or maybe you're another sign and you're here and you're, you're, you're cross watching for Virgo and all of a sudden Virgos have a great reading or not, then you can accept it as is and say, okay. Or you can say, well, those Virgos don't deserve that bounty that's coming towards them. Or, oh yeah, those Virgos deserve to be, you know, to be going through that pain that they're going through. Everybody is soul source energy. Everybody deserves love. Everybody deserves clarity of thought. Everybody deserves to be treated with respect. For their soul source energy doesn't mean that their actions need to be treated with respect. You can disagree with people. But here, we have to look at their soul source energy. That which exists and is possible. To be the best person you can be. And for somebody to be the best person they can be. Okay? So I don't want anybody bashing Virgos. And I, I don't want Virgos bashing anybody else. That's my only ask. That's my only request. Okay? If these readings, you know, um, apply to you, if they resonate with you, come back. Check me out again. Maybe subscribe. Maybe get a membership to my website. But I'm here with the best of intentions. All right? Guys. Hey, that's enough. You can go you can go to your BB and go lay down. You don't have to make a lot of noise out here, okay? Okay. General energies for Virgos are the world. Okay, Virgos. You are definitely completing a cycle. Not surprising, like I said, Virgos, you do have a full moon in Virgo. You're completing a cycle with your own identity. You're co completing a cycle with what you're pioneering. You could be graduating. Uh, metaphorically, you could be graduating physically, 
from school, uh, finishing an exam, uh, whatever it may be, you are completing a cycle in your life. It could be ideological, could be any of those things. The energy of the world is also bringing in how you interact with the world. So you have a lot of energy that you're attracting as it relates to how the world views you. You're bringing the world in. However, Virgos, you're keeping the naysayers and the negativity outside of you, the distractions outside of you. You have people, special people in your life that you show your vulnerable side to, but you've learned over time not to show your vulnerable side to everyone. Maybe it's gotten you in trouble in the past. Maybe people took advantage of you. So you're putting up boundaries right now. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. So your general energy is coming in with the world. You could be traveling the world. World news could be affecting you. You may be very interested in uh, world events in the month of March for sure. There may be something going on here, and I'm getting this uh, psychically for some of you Virgos, like there's um, maybe pain that you have, uh, maybe you're getting some CBD oil, uh, maybe you're nursing some sort of, you know, stressed muscle or torn muscle, something like that could be coming through here. Might be time for you to also get a little bit more rest around your full moon in Virgo. This is happening at the end of February, but you will be getting this reading well before that full moon in Virgo takes place. So just want to make sure that you're aware of that. Okay, so let's see what's the reason the world card is here. <clears throat> Two of Pentacles. Oh yeah. Money. Juggling the money. Having two forms of income, um, allocations, uh, potential embarrassment. Uh, for some of you Virgos, maybe you got embarrassed by something or somebody embarrassed you or you're just regrouping right now. You're like, okay, well, I'm going to let this kind of die down. I'm going to let this kind of boil over. I'm not going to put a lot of time or effort into this. So I'm just going to, you know, sequester myself and I'm just going to kind of do my own thing until everything just boils over. Could be. Some of you may have a lot of emotions as it relates to some sort of finances, um, paying taxes, those types of things. But this could be how, uh, for many of you, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to tell you this, uh, <laughs> The inflation, okay, lot, just the massive amount of inflation. So many of you might be thinking to yourself, wow, I mean, I cannot believe like five years ago, this is how much, you know, gas cost or a, a loaf of bread or milk or eggs. And now I'm paying twice as much. Like what's going on here? So I think a lot of you Virgos are kind of starting to question, okay, how did this happen? Is it happening across the world stage? And if it's happening across the world stage, how is that directly impacting me? So this is what I'm getting. Now I want to remind all of the Virgos, this is the general energy. So this general energy is gonna permeate all of these other cards in the other areas of your life. Now, what is going on with home and family? Ha 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 justice. Yeah. Legal situations, balancing your life, your work life, your social life, your um, home life, your family life. A Libra may be of great significance for you as it relates to this March of 2024 time frame. And justice could be justice of the peace. Justice could be um, the truth of the situation. Virgos in the past, perhaps, I'm getting this psychically now, 
In the past, perhaps you have been reticent to share. You've been reticent to rock the boat. All right. So what you're saying now with the fool card being here, screw that. I, at this point, I'm damned if I do, I'm damned if I don't. So I'm going to stay sovereign. I'm going to speak my truth. And if people like it, fine. If they don't like it, fine. I'm not going to change who I am because other people may be offended or may have some sort of grudge against what I say. It's about my balance in my home life. It is about making sure that my internal sovereignty and my internal you know, safe space is not interfered with. I'm not going to have it interfered with. You may have been undergoing a lot of uh, unexpected developments in the home and the family. Absolutely. Maybe you've had to put up with something. You had to attend to something. You had to finance something. Or you had to um, invest in something. Some of you might be in a situation right now where you're saying, look, um, I think it might be time for me to move or for me to get a vacation home or to, you know, maybe get a condo someplace else. I'm ready to sign on the dotted line. I'm ready to sign the contract. This is signing contracts as it relates to home and family. This new beginning, whatever it is, for you, you're ending one way of being or one way of operating and you are starting anew in a more balanced way. And here's the thing, Virgo. If anybody is ultra organized, it's a Virgo. If every, if, if you are in true Virgo form, you are leaving no stone unturned. Everything has its place and a place is there for everything. It's orderly, it's understandable, it's reasonable, it's grounded. Some of you Virgos have just undergone a divorce or you have just undergone some sort of freedom from some type of obligation. And because you've taken yourself from this obligation, now you're free from this obligation, it allows you to have the environment of which you feel most comfortable in. You feel safe, you feel secure, you feel loved, you feel comforted. This is what's coming in with home and family. What is going on with love and romance? The magician. Well, Virgo, you definitely might be in love with a Gemini. And I find this fascinating, okay, because I was talking at the beginning about how, you know, I have so many Virgo friends and we have so much love and kindness and caring and support for one another. Maybe because we share Mercury as a ruler. In a way, you're kind of a twin with Geminis because you share the same ruler. The Geminis are air, so they're very communicative and they're very analytical. And Virgos love to learn, so do Geminis. And Virgos are also very communicative. Sometimes Geminis talk just to hear themselves talk, but Virgos usually talk to get to the source of a situation. They're looking for something. They want the solution. They want to be able to implement something. So as it relates to the magician, right now, Virgos, if you are looking for someone, it looks like a Gemini is, is probably a good match for you. Maybe not all of you, but maybe for some of you. 
especially if they have a lot of earth in their chart, you'll be able to understand one another and the grounding and the stability that's required to have a relationship with one another. But what I'm seeing here, Virgo, is if you're looking for somebody and you're not with somebody right now, you are manifesting somebody. But you're not going to manifest somebody until after you kind of address the old self and how you want to recreate yourself into your new self. It could be one small, tiny thing. And once you say, I'm not doing that anymore, I'm going to look at this from a different perspective, I'm going to be a lot more positive about my options, all of a sudden, here comes manifested right in front of you, someone that matches your energy, that you get along with, that you love, that you care for. For those of you that are in a relationship, in a committed and loving bond, married, dating, exclusive, whatever, your significant other is manifesting quite a bit right now. They're manifesting. They're using all of the tools at their disposal. They're providing for you while you provide for them. There is a reciprocation here, Virgo, absolutely. You could be manifesting together you could be building together, producing together. And this is all about that support that's coming through right now. But again, you have something you're releasing yourself from to bring more balance into your life. And this is going to open that door for great productivity within your relationship. And like I said, even if you're single, whatever you're removing here to bring more balance in, it's... Uh, even karma, okay? You might be done with a karmic debt. And this could be coming in and bringing you a wish, something you want to manifest. And this could be a partner, okay? But why is this energy here outside of rebalancing and outside of you know getting rid of what no longer serves and keeping yourself away from the distractions? Oh gosh, Virgo, 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 Virgo. I am so freaking happy for you right now. A loving family, support, reunions, understanding one another, being on the same page, joy, fulfillment, seeing someone a family member, a friend you haven't seen in a very long time. Family. The tens are completions. There's a completion with something going on with the family. Happening with you or happening with your loved one. Happening with you or happening with the person you're dating. Happening with you and then all of a sudden you're bringing in this energy where someone is going through very similar types of uh, experiences and manifestations. So because there's this reunion that's about to happen, because there is this love of family, because there is this union, this support, this joy, you manifest. You are manifesting again. I'm not saying you stopped manifesting, Virgo, but you're a manifesting machine as it relates to love and romance. It's just happening. Let me see if I'm getting anything psychically from the Magician and the Ten of Cups. For those of you Virgos that do not have children, you could be codifying or you could be solidifying a relationship with someone who does. And you are brought into the family fold. This could be happening, Virgo.
for those of you who are coupled and in a serious relationship, uh, you certainly could be hearing that your child, um, a cousin, a sibling could be having a child, could be bringing a child or could be getting married. So this could be like your, your family is expanding. This is what is happening, Virgo. And remember, Virgo, you trine Taurus. Taurus has Jupiter in it right now. Massive expansion with self-value, the money you make, creature comforts, the body politic, high dollar possessions. You're doing well, Virgo. At least you are in the month of March. What do we have going on with work life and social life? The hermit. Virgo, this is you. So Virgo, it is so interesting. Remember what I said, Virgo, about the difference between Gemini and Virgo? Sometimes Geminis just talk to hear themselves talk. They just like talking about, you know, odds and ends of, you know, education, knowledge, you know, intellectualism, analysis. But, but Virgos talk to get to the source information. They want to do something with it. They want it to mean something. And so Virgos, for you, what's happening right now in your social life, in your work life, you're investigating. You are out there meeting, greeting people, talking to people and saying, hey, tell me about yourself. It's not niceties for you, Virgo. You're gaining information. It's almost like you're on reconnaissance or something like that. You are in the time frame within the month of March where you could be looking back in to past relationships within work life and social life. And you could be saying to yourself, I trusted that person, but I shouldn't have. I didn't trust that person, but I should have. What did I miss? What happened there? I, I want to review my past a little bit here with my social groups and my work groups. For some of you Virgos, uh, you might be investigating um, something at work. You could be an investigator. Uh, you could be in reconnaissance. You could be um, someone who does analysis, research. All of this could be coming in for some of you Virgos out there, but you are gathering information at work. You are gathering information, researching people in your social sphere. <clears throat> you may be, <coughs> excuse me, dealing with physicians, getting good advice, finding good advisors. Other people may consider you a very good advisor to them, a good teacher. You are leaving no stone unturned. I said that at the beginning. Here we are now. What does the hermit do? Looks into the nooks, looks into the crannies, figures out. How's this working? Why is it doing this? You know, I need to do something about this. I need to expose it. But why is this energy here, Virgo? The King of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Now we just had an Aquarius new moon. So this could be part of that Aquarius new moon. Hopes, wishes, dreams, goals, networks, and associations. You have a Gemini right here. And you have a Libra right here. You might be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, air energy right now. Virgo. But the King of Swords is exacting with their messages. They're clear. They're decisive. They don't mince words. They cut through the BS. 
They don't have time for verbosity, wordiness. They don't have time for that. They want to make sure you have what you need in order to do the next step. This could be a police officer. This could be a surgeon. This could be a judge. Absolutely. A judge, a lawyer. Okay. Anything associated with the swords cards. Someone who deals with knives. It could be a chef. You know, maybe you know a chef or maybe, maybe you're researching ways to live a healthier life. Maybe you're saying, okay, I'm going to go keto. I'm going to do modified keto. I'm going to do uh, macros. I'm going to do like, whatever it may be. You're looking into this. And I find it interesting because we do have the physician energy here. Maybe this is the truth about your health, the truth about somebody else's health in your social sphere, or the truth about the health of a business, of a work situation. But this Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, and remember, kings are mutable. They rule the mutable. So according to astrology, the tarot astrology reciprocation here, which of the signs are the mutable signs with air? That's Gemini. So you could also be dealing with a cancer, a third decan cancer, 20 up to the 30 degree mark of cancer, 29.99999. So you could be dealing with this. They might be sharing information with you. Hey, Virgo, just thought I'd let you know this. Now, you can do what you want with it. But this is what I know. And this is what I can share with you. And, and maybe knowing the king of swords, he's going to have evidence to back it up or facts to back it up. And you're saying, hey, thanks so much. Let me do my own research. Based on what you've told me. Let me come to my own conclusions. This could be happening for you, Virgo. Now, Virgo, let's look at the overarching energy for love. You obviously have a lot going on here. It looks fantastic. But let's see what your overarching energy is for the love cards. We'll pull one at a time. Jupiter, what did I say? <laughs> what did I say? Jupiter is in Taurus and Taurus trines you, Virgo. Jupiter in the love and romance sector means you are not going to be lacking any options if you are single and you want to embark on dating again or continuing dating, you're going to have more options. And Jupiter expands and it's likely the people that you're going to be coming in contact with are very Taurian in nature, sun, moon, rising, Venus or Jupiter. Remember what I said um, with the magician. This is Gemini, okay? And I said, normally, Virgos, for the most part, not all of you, but normally, if you've got a, if you're dating a Gemini sun, a Gemini rising, a Gemini moon, you normally feel good with that partner because they have strong earth energy. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. In this case, Taurus. There's a lot of Taurus energy coming through here. And even Virgo energy. Usually when Virgos and Virgos get together, it's not well aspected because you kind of drive each other nuts. You guys can comment below and let me know what you think. But, but if someone has a little bit of Virgo in their chart and then they got some Gemini, maybe a little bit of Libra, you know, that's, that's a really, really good combo. But Jupiter is the gift giver. Jupiter is the blessings. Jupiter is the ruler of, well, the traditional ruler of Pisces and the ruler, the contemporary ruler of Sagittarius. 
So you could be dealing with Pisces or Sagittarius, a lot of love, a lot of bountiful love here, whether it's friends that you feel like are family or it's somebody you're interested in, it's very, very well aspected. And a lot of times, Virgo, what, what I love about you is that when things don't work out, you don't really hold it against anybody because it's like, okay, it didn't work out. That's okay. I'll just move on. You don't really dwell on it. You know, maybe you'll fight for it for a little while if it's worth anything to you, but you're not going to sit there and waste your energy on it. You want to be able to leave or you want to be able to let go with love. And so what's happening here, Virgo, is that you're being blessed in your romantic and love life. Love with anybody, family, friends, romantic partners, or romance, romantic partners, love. What's the other card though? <laughs> Cancers. Virgos and Cancers are pretty good too, for the most part. You guys comment below. Let me know what you think of a Virgo Cancer couple. But, um, you know, Cancers, water. Very, very homey. Very much the mother energy. Virgo tends to be very production orientated. They tend to want to take care of the family. Not all, but many. But what did I say? Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, third decan, Cancer. Right there. The mother energy, the big mother energy. You are exhibiting a lot of motherly kind energy towards someone. Someone may also be exhibiting that energy towards you. You may love Someone who is in your life right now, who is a mother. They could be a mother of children. They could be a mother of pets. They could be a mother of their projects, whatever it is. They have a very big heart and you appreciate them. And you're going to see this in the month of March. They're going to show you how they mother, who they mother. And you're going to respect that. Because it's all about family. So that's beautiful. Whether you're the mother figure or whether somebody else is the mother figure, they're definitely manifesting for sure. Okay. What's your guidance, Virgo? Share your voice, Virgo. Come out of the cave persecution, and expression. What did I say here? I don't care what anybody thinks anymore. I have realized I'm damned if I do. I'm damned if I don't. So why don't I just live in my sovereign self and not hold energies within me saying things that I don't believe in saying things that I don't agree with, why? Why not just be truthful and honest at the get-go? If there's going to be persecution, whether it's from one person or two people or 50 people anyway, why would I change who I am and what I believe in because of pressure from them? Share your voice, Virgo. Share your voice. People need to hear from you, Virgo. You're doing the research. You are manifesting. You're rebalancing your life. You know how to keep the negative energies out and the positive energies in. Share your voice with others. Okay? All right, Virgos, this is what I have for you. I wish you the best. Much light, much love, many blessings, and catch you on the flip side.